okay, my friends, we have the emergency uh, podcast break. We've been traveling. We're in San Diego all month. So my um, podcast has taken a backseat to surfing. So <laughs> something's got to give. But today is history in the world of YouTube golf. You know what we're talking about. And there will be zero spoiler alerts here. It will just be all kind of my thoughts and some inside stuff about um, Bryson and former president uh, Donald Trump, their break 50 match. Okay, first things first, whatever your politics are, okay, that's fine. I don't care who you vote for. I don't care what you believe in. Like, that's not the important thing here. This is just a huge moment in, you know, the YouTube golf space. And that is that. And forget about what politics somebody is, right? What side they're on. They're a golfer. So let's just take Donald Trump, former President Trump, as a golfer right now. Forget everything else. And for some people, they're just not going to be able to do that. And that's sad because then you are going to not be able to appreciate and enjoy what just happened. And you're just going to be scarred and jaded by this person that you may either love or hate. He's kind of like one or the other. So that's sad that people uh, can't get over that. And like, I, it wouldn't matter to me if this was Obama or Biden or anybody else. Like, it doesn't matter. So that's the thing. Like, I don't care what you believe in. And for the most part, you all go golfing and many times you get paired with somebody and you're like, man, that dude was cool. But you never talk politics. So you don't know. And But if all of a sudden you find out they're on the other side of the fence as you, then you're like, oh, that guy's a jerk. So we're leaving that out, okay? Politics are out here. And I think we can just dive into the golf. So first of all, they're playing at Trump Bedminster. So Trump's course there in Jersey, just outside of New York. I was there a uh, year plus ago, and I played the some of the holes on the course. They had the live event and some of the holes you see in this event, uh, this YouTube video. They played the their link style course. And their Parkland course is the one that kind of the live players played. I played kind of a mixture of both depending on just what, what holes were available to play when I was out there because we were just kind of bouncing around doing a club review. And if you haven't seen that golf club, private club review, honestly, it's like probably my favorite one I've done. I just felt like the flow was the best. It was great. I had Luke there with me. He's the brother of one of the uh, ladies who works there, and he was kind of like my tour guide. And, man, we just had the best time, and I felt like the energy was fantastic. So that's on my uh, YouTube channel if you want to check it out. Inside Trump Bed, Mr. Go check it out. Now, let's look at some of the um, things. So they're playing Trump Bedminster. They're doing the Break 50, and that's Bryson's break 50 challenge from the front tees, which is a phenomenal way to play golf. If you ever want to have like the best time with your, with a buddy or by yourself, play the forward tees and try to break a score, break par, break 60. I've done a series on my channel where I was playing the forward tees trying to, and I try to break 60 and that's still kind of ongoing and that's going to continue. So they're doing the, um, the break 50, this video from just looking at the channel has over 2.4 million views currently in about 10 hours. It is the number one golf YouTube video ever on any golf, Rick Shields, good, good, anybody. This video that Bryson dropped today is blowing all of them away. Golf videos, like a great video gets like a 1.5 and over like a year or so might get two and a half million. Some have a little bit more, but this one is beating all of them. It's we're talking, we're beating dude. Perfect at Augusta. Like it's crushing it. Well, that one might've crushed. I, anyways, it doesn't matter. As far as golf YouTubers go, this one is crushing 
everybody. And Bryson was in a race to a million subscribers with Grant Horvat. And Grant was in the 700 range and Bryson was in the 800,000 subscriber range. Bryson today, in the last 10 hours, has gotten over 200,000 subscribers. The race is over. Bryson put on the afterburners and said, see you later, Grant Orman. It just flew right past him. And Bryson is on the fast track to be the number one golf content creator on the platform. So congratulations, Bryson. Cheers to you and this video. We're not done because there's a lot more to talk about in this video, but you know what? Enjoy the evening because it was a huge success. No spoiler alerts. We're not going to give away anything, but this is a monumental day. Tr uh, Trump, Donald Trump, 78 years old. Okay. As a golf, I golf with a lot of people. I golf with a lot of older people. He's a phenomenal 78 year old golfer. He hits the ball with his driver about 220, 230. We never really see, they don't really say how far he hits it, but doing the math, he like drove one of the greens. He got birdies on his own ball. He got eagles on his own ball. It's a little spoiler alert, you have to watch it, but we're house sitting. The dog is barking at people. So that's just the way we're rolling today. So it is an awesome, monumental, epic day. Trump is using a Scotty Cameron. It looks to me like a Newport 2 model putter. And the dude can roll the rock. His putting stroke looks a little, you know, awkward, but it is phenomenally effective. If I saw him, let's say I didn't know him and I saw him on the putting green, you might think wrongly that you could win off of him. But I would look at him and say, that dude owns his game. His swing, his putting, he's good. He's a phenomenal player, 78 years old, and could play like that. Oh, yeah, I mean, just as a fan of golf, I'm like, that dude, usually as you get older, your short game goes down the tank. His 100-yard in game is top shelf. Shocking, and he's putting a putts with the toe in the air, and he's got this weird follow through, but he accelerates through the ball. He takes a short backswing with this putter, and bam, smacks that thing. We're not going to show any clips or anything. I don't want to put anything on here that's going to take away from you going there because I think everybody should go there and watch that video. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. It was, I watched the entire thing, it was fantastic. All right. So, also, what was interesting, they're in President Trump's personal golf cart. It has a presidential seal on the seat. That cart was there when I was doing my private club tour. I tried my hardest to have them pull it out so I could do my golf cart review section using that cart. We didn't get it. It was, it was they were like, it's dirty, you know, he's not, so they were like, no. So unfortunately, but we, I could, I saw it, it was there. And president Trump, as a matter of fact, was there when I was doing my golf course review as well. That's kind of his home base. He, they have these houses and in my, um, review, I show you inside one of those cottages. So he doesn't stay in that one. He stays in one like nearby. And so he was there and, uh, that's where he, that's like his home base. So that's really cool. All right. So he had these, um, man, his game is so good. Now, Bryson in the video, it's so funny. He's trying to, it's just good. You got to watch it. He's trying to ask Trump some questions. And it's not that Trump dodges any questions because he doesn't. But Bryson is so giddy is I think the best way I could describe it about the video. One, Bryson loves golf. Two, it's almost as if there's this grandparent grandson relationship they got going on because Bryson is like, whatever you say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, it's really kind of cool to see. And he's just like this little kid with grandpa is kind of the vibe that I got because I was like, he's so respectful. Not that he's not respectful 
any other time because he is. But in this dynamic, it was very different in a great way. So you got to watch it. If you haven't seen it, you got to go watch it. So he, you've got this like older. And so Bryce like, whatever you want. Yeah, we'll take your shot. Let's take your shot. And so they would, they would take his shot, even though some of Bryson's shots might be closer in the rough. But President Trump is like, well, whatever you want. I could play out of the sand. Let's play yours. Da, 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 da. And so Bryce like, no, 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 no. So you got to watch it because it's this great back and forth and it moves at a very fast pace throughout the entire video, which is great. You think it's 18 holes, it's going to drag on forever. It's under an hour. So it's not like a two hour long video. It's quick. It moves fast. They get in the golf cart and Bryson tries to ask a quick question. And then, you know, you, you just, it doesn't work or he, he answers it quickly and they move on. And what was cool also, you gotta see like, President Trump likes to listen apparently to music while he plays. So we heard a little of uh, uh, Johnny Cash, the Eagles and Michael Jackson, you could hear him playing his playlist. And he's talking about the songs he likes, which is kind of funny to see. Typically when you're making a golf video, you cannot and you do not want people to play music because you kind of get flagged and um you know you get this license restriction on your youtube content and so you could be demonetized for the video and this video currently has over 2.4 million views of what we could see on the back end when you lock when bryson's looking at it on his um his own personal account that's it's always way way higher so that 2.4 is probably like three 3.4 million views or you know because there's always a huge difference between the back end of what we see and what they put out there for what the public to see so you're like hopefully they played a few of those, those music clips hopefully they don't get demonetized because not that they need the money but they're you know, it's not bad. You're paying for your editors and your production costs and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully they're, they'll be okay, but I don't think they're hurting either way. And they don't need a ton of money to charity in this video. So be sure to check that out. I want to know, okay, in your best non-political emotional energy, what you think of this video from both sides, whether you're on the right or the left, doesn't matter. Just say, oh, I hate that guy. Like, oh, I can't watch it, I won't watch it, or I did watch it, or it whatever it is. Like, I would just say this. My recommendation would be just have an open mind because not one time in the video do they get political. They never do. He might have made one knock at Joe Biden, but, uh, you know, that's it. Like, and this was filmed before the assassination attempt. So they feel obviously because he's not wearing an ear bandage or there's no scar there. So it was filmed before that. And, you know, it makes me think, I wonder if they held the video from releasing it until everything was kind of settled down. Not that it's settled down, but they waited or who maybe they were going to release it earlier and they were like, whoa, whoa, whoa we got to wait. And it might have been postponed. I don't know. But it was filmed pre assassination attempt. And. Good, th good thing he's okay, right? Otherwise, yeah, well, who knows? You know, you don't want to go down that road, but everything was good. But anyways, in your best non-political energy, what do you think of this? Because they don't get political in the video. They don't talk politics. It's not about politics. It's about golf. So if you're wondering, oh, I can't stand that, it's about golf. And not one time in the video did I ever feel like um, there was a political energy that I didn't like. It was just about two dudes enjoying the game of golf. And really that's what I think life is all about. Like coming together under a common sport, a common, you know, theme, a common something bond that people have. That's what we're trying to do. And when you all of a sudden throw politics in there, people get, I mean, divided, which is horrible. Not one time did I ever feel like there was division in this video. Now, maybe I don't see it. Maybe I do. Maybe I just enjoyed the golf. Yeah, he's wearing his Make America Great hat. So if you are triggered by that, that might trigger you, right? But 
if somebody else was in there with their, you know, cap on, it wouldn't have bothered me either. Like it didn't bother, it wouldn't bother me either way. I'm wondering like, if you're going to go that political route, if I'm Kamala Harris, I'm, I'm on the phone with Bryson. Like, dude, we got to play. We got to play. We got to play. Where can we play? Where can we play? All right, let's go. Let's go like that. I'm her. If I'm her or her team, I'm like, you got to get on the rage. You got to practice, practice, practice. We got to get, we got to get you in there. Like I would be hundred percent, like trying to figure something out because that was, I mean, politically, it was probably a brilliant move, but just for the world of golf and bringing people together, I think it was fantastic. I want to know your thoughts. Leave the comments below. Fantastic video. Bryson, former President Trump. I mean, cheers, hats off, everything. You guys nailed it. Home run, hole in one. There was no home. Well, I'm not going to. You got to watch a video. Great job. Peace out. We'll see you guys soon. How do you like my new podcast? <laughs> we'll be home a couple weeks.